Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weenie. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. Really important topic today, Paul, and a very common question in our comment section of our YouTube channel, which is really important. So if you have comments, questions, put them in the always, comment section. Always, always put comments. Really in important. Should I do physio or how long should I do physio for after my hip or knee replacement? Okay, so how long should I keep going to the physical therapist yes. or the physiotherapy sessions <laughs> yes. uh, after hip or knee replacement? Obviously, everybody needs physio. I mean, would you agree with that? Yes. 100% of people need physio. I would say, well, yes, I would say everyone right. needs physio, especially after total knee replacement. Totally agree. Okay. Totally agree. Total hip, not as much physio, yep. yes. but still helpful to get physiotherapy yep. or physical therapy after your hip replacement, but definitely after knee replacement. And more after the knee replacement than the hip replacement. Okay, so in our institution, a lot of times that's arranged before you leave the hospital, so you might see your therapist the first time two or three days afterwards. Mm -hmm. Typically, there's a certain number of visits that are funded by our governmental um, healthcare system. And I would say usually I tell people a minimum of six weeks. Yeah, at least. Orthopedic unit. Six, six is the orthopedic unit. And your physical therapist, your physiotherapist is your new best friend yes. for six weeks. Okay, and so people are like six weeks, so how often do I go? Do I go every day? I think, I think that's a bit much. Usually right. they go about two or three times a week. Yep. And then when you're not at the physical therapy clinic or the yes. physiotherapy clinic, you're at home still doing some form of self-directed physiotherapy that hopefully your physical therapist has shown you how to do. Right, so I've always said this, going to it is not the important part, it's the doing. Anybody can go to it. Right, you gotta got do the, the therapy. He is doing the therapy. Right, and when I tell people, I mean, you gotta do it like multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. whatever, whatever they tell you, do 10 reps, don't do 10, do 20 or do 30 or do 40. Do as much as you can within the limits of pain and common sense. Mm -hmm. Right, gotcha. so, so then people will say, okay, so now I'm at my six week mark. Kind of stop physiotherapy. No, go forever. Right. So, <laughs> so some people would say, you know, I want to go once a month for eternity. Yeah. So this will be determined by a whole bunch of factors. A, how you're doing. B, if you have coverage or somehow it's paid for, if you have the means to pay for mm -hmm. it. If you physically can get to therapy, because yeah. that can be an obstacle after yeah. surgery. Yeah. And the rest of your life. Some people are busy. They say, I can't go to therapy yes. forever. So I was joking when I yes. said go forever. So how long do you go for? So this usually uh, when you're going, you're going to reach uh, a point where you and your physical therapist or physiotherapist will say, hey, look, you, you know what I mean? You're there. Um, you know, you don't need to come anymore. Right. It's often that decision you guys made together. Yes. Um, however, the exercises that they showed you. Yes. The stretching, that stuff, I think, should go on pretty much forever in a self-directed Totally, totally agree. Because what happens sometimes, if you see people at three months or six months, they're like, you know, I had 117 degrees of flexion at six weeks, and then I got busy and I went back to work, and now all of a sudden I have, I have like 109. Yeah. You know, and not that that eight degrees is, is critical, but if you would have just kind of kept doing your exercises, like brushing your teeth three, four times a day, it takes two minutes at a time, often that's what can maintain that motion. And I think what happens is that physiotherapy or the physical therapy transitions into your own self-directed exercise program yes. that we know all of you are doing your own exercise program at home. You're not just sitting around watching YouTube. Well, hopefully mostly watching YouTube. <laughs> but also Other than do, this channel. Yes, or, or walk around when you're watching it. But yes, I totally agree with you. you. You want it to be part of your daily routine to be physically active, which is why you got your hip or knee replacement in the first place. Yeah. But not just walking, right? So if you just walk, your knees don't bend to that yeah, full yeah, range yeah. with just walking. And some people say, well, I'm really active or I do a lot of lifting at work. Yes, that's physically active activity, but it's different from therapy for your knee. So mm -hmm. try to work on maintaining that, particularly those right. terminal range of motion, whether it's full straightening, extension, or full flexion. Right. So take that physical therapy stuff that you learned yep. and morph it into your daily exercise routine Ooh. that you're doing. Morph it in. Morph. Nice. I like that. So there's your answer. I, the, our answer is you probably should just keep doing it for as long as you can, not necessarily at the therapist costing you money, but doing it on your own, taking that education and being in charge of your own health, which is kind of what you say all the time. You say that all the time. Yeah. So if you like this video, keep doing your physiotherapy. Like it. Subscribe to our channel. And remember, you, oh, you said it already. <laughs> you can say it again. Remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.